What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun I'm with Dumb. Dumb. And today, Shit. this is hell of a squad over here. Yep. Um, a lot of people, and we have to do a lot of tech stuff to accommodate this situation right yep. here. Yes, sir. Yeah. And um, I know, Steffi, this is a lot of men at, in, in the room right now. Hey, there's a lot of K-Town zaddies in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Inappropriately, we decided to celebrate International Women's Day with... Uh, uh, eight men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hey, yo, me now. We're here for you. So we Alex. are here, but we are here to celebrate Steffi. Actually, Thank you. that's why we have all these men. All right, here. show it with some money, guys. Yeah, I'll yeah. take the money. Let's see it. Cash She's out. still out here digitally panhandling. I gotta Steffi say, Steffi is me is my Venmo. Okay, here we go. Let's do a little um, intro from left to right. How about starting with you, Justin? Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Justin Park, R&B singer from Los Angeles. Hey. He practiced that oh, shit, huh? Oh, what up, Jay Young? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, my name is Lyrics, one half of the year with the axe, yeah. a.k.a. Paul Sam Killer. Wow, Bang. I'm Steffi Bake. Welcome to Fun With Dumb. Woo! <laughs> Aww. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so wholesome. What's up, guys? My name is G2. Yo. Uh, what up? I'm Juno. <laughs> I didn't really need my co-host to introduce I know, I know. <laughs> I was confused, too, because I thought it was me. Yeah, right? we're on the show. <laughs> yes, it's clear. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's up, y'all? I know you guys came on the show because you guys are promoting a show and some new music coming up. So, you know, sure. I appreciate it. Yeah. I was cornered into a room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By eight of us. Yeah, JL yeah. was like, hey, how about you have us on the pod? <laughs> Good idea. Dumb was like, like, all right, but then when we had to move furniture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was cool with it. And then, like, the last 30 minutes was so stressful. I was like, what the fuck? fuck was yeah. I thinking God. God. Nah, nah, I'm Damn. I love to have you we've guys we've never had this many people on the that's pod, the thing that so. was, that's the problem it's a lot of uh, <laughs> it's a lot of men and it's, it's a lot of musicians <laughs> who love a mic let's say that yeah um, do they all steal the mic like yeah. you say that's true I mean we do uh, we w this is our tool of choice here <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that sounded like the most uh, <laughs> what okay the it either sounded like least? the most rapper thing or the most not rapper no, thing not <laughs> it is our Excalibur yeah. huh <laughs> <laughs> I know for a fact a rapper in the 80s was like, this is my tool of choice. <laughs> you know a rapper in the 80s said that shit. There's no doubt about it. I thought for it'd sure. be words. Words would be your weapon of choice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. But yeah. that's everybody's. There's a, so there's a choices. lot of rappers in the room, but we also have a singer. So Justin sings. Wow. You, you rap too, right? Justin. I thought you were going to say Justin I Sing. <laughs> right now. I swear to God. Justin yeah. Sing no, all no, our no, names no, right no, now. No, and no. I was ready. I was, I was getting ready. No, this motherfucker is ready to harmonize it. Yeah, he was it. harmonizing before he even started. Yeah, he was yeah. over there. I've never seen someone do a vocal warm up for a podcast, though. <laughs> he was like, supposed to say that. That shit was wild, bro. Uh, yeah, good. so hold I got kind of nervous. Like, Some people have been on this show before. <laughs> yeah. um, Juno and G2 have been on this show. Yep. Yeah. Second time. Yep. Second that, that's an third, honor. It's yeah. my, my third <laughs> time. It's his third time. How did you finagle time. three t three times into the... <laughs> what? I don't know. You were the one who called me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was outside the door waiting, bro. I was about to shit on the booking guy, but I'm the booking guy. <laughs> I am the booking guy. Oh, but yeah. but you haven't had me alone yet. You, oh. You've only had me in groups. Don't ever say See, that. See, I know. Me. Now, now that's Do an audio not clip. Don't ever say that to me. <laughs> now that's an audio clip. I like saying you, me, and the couch. Now a clip. <laughs> now a clip of that exists. Um, <laughs> Alex, okay. I think you could turn this down Beautiful. a little bit. Okay, yeah. so uh, Justin, uh, yeah. what's up, man? Let's get to know you first, since you're kind of the new guy here. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so Justin, <laughs> uh, where are you from? I, you know, I got, okay, let me set this up first. Talk right, to yeah. I see you a lot on the streets, for sure. events. <laughs> I was getting, bro, I was getting get ready closer. to say all of that. We yeah. never had a conversation longer than we're going to have today. Dude, no way. Maybe you just don't remember, but we can talk about all of it. Oh, really? Yeah, that makes sense, too. <laughs> Dude, I have, yeah, I have like, too. this whole character of dumb from just drunk talks. Where it's like, this is, like, <laughs> one all, of my fathers. You feel me? Talk. I was definitely on drugs or alcohol yeah, when yeah. I was talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did he talk <laughs> about the plight of being an Asian American? Oh, all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but <laughs> I, I'll say this, though. Dumb has given me some really, really great pieces of advice mm. uh, while wow. drunk or intoxicated. <laughs> probably didn't mean it. That you didn't ask for, right? No, no. No, 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 no. I, 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 I definitely know. asked for. Yeah, he, they know me. What's one advice that he gave you that you actually? Okay, used? so there's there's yeah, one piece yeah, yeah. that I remember. I did a show mm. for K Town Night Market in K Town. And okay. I saw Dumb maybe at uh, Cafe Blue or you know the yeah. normal yeah. spots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, and then uh, I forgot what he said. But he's like, man, you grew up a lot, 
<laughs> like you're pro- no, no no these are great things i really mm-hmm. needed to hear it's like man you grew up a lot and i'm really looking forward to the next live show you did this is actually the first one i've seen and he's like you know i've been hearing about you da 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 whatever but it's like this is the first show i've seen and it stuck with me because you know nice. i've been i've been looking at dumb stuff since knock steady a lot of mm. you know what i'm saying like this is how i grew up so so Rick, wow. okay so i said you've there. developed and grown up a lot in your music and your yeah, craft and performance wise yeah yeah wow I meant it. I meant every <laughs> word. I swear. <laughs> I meant every word. No, 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 no. I, and I know he did because he came up to me, and that was a moment. So I don't know how mm. you remember it, or you know. No, but the Are truth. You, sure you got the right guy. Hundred <laughs> percent. No, but the truth is, though, I, I, I mean every word because before you guys all came, I, I was like. Where does everybody's streaming numbers stand on Spotify? And you had the biggest streaming numbers Let's out of go, any of us. Yeah. And I remember Let's a time go, where he had the least amount of streaming numbers out of all of us. Yeah. I actually asked them before we had the pod. I said, who has the biggest numbers on Spotify? Yeah. And they started looking you, and then you came up. And, and, and at first in. I was like, nice. that doesn't matter. And then I was like, Alex, pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's then, be real. Justin's been working. Yeah, he's been putting in work, you know? And, you and Justin, right. I know in the last few years, a big factor was that a member of BTS Reshared one of your songs. Amen. Oh, yeah. what, what was that? He said, song? "Amen." Hey, 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 talk, talk into the mic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get um, it close to your mouth. Yeah, no, no that, that, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. Get it in your um, mouth. <laughs> sorry, chill, chill, dude. Sorry. Hey, yo. sorry. Um, so yeah, speaking on that, um, Jungkook, one of the members from BTS, uh, maybe circa like la- early last year, 2021. Yeah. But actually, he just reshared, and I'm putting together a little funny video for the fans. And the crazy thing is, in this live that I wasn't aware of, some of the fans, uh, they always get me on track and they tell me what's going on. Like Jungkook, whatever, shared. I look at that live, 10 million people, man. Wow. Watching his Ooh. live. How many wow. do we get on our Instagram? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jeez. So, so to put that into scope, 10 million people. He's like, oh, uh, someone asked, what song is that you're singing? He's like, Justin Park on the low. Wow. We got another That's bump on crazy. Spotify and just Instagram Fuck or whatever. Yeah. So That's what's just we actually like, have about nine million tuned in right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So man. we're not too far off. Edging yeah. ten, edging ten. Yeah, yeah. I see that. That's off. awesome. But that's amazing, man. So that was a big factor, you know. Yeah. So yeah. when people ask me, like, when a young artists gonna when they start asking me, like, how do I get my numbers? Uh, I'm just gonna tell them BTS has to share yeah. your shit. <laughs> the, one, the one and only way. That's kind of <laughs> the only like, way yeah, you'll yeah. make it. Y'all watching this? Help yeah. Help yeah. At this point, I'm NDA, man. I can only talk about BTS. So <laughs> everywhere I go, you know, I'm a BTS member. I'm, I'm an so advocate. So if yeah. Jungkook was like, I accidentally killed somebody, can you help me bury the body? Holy you will God. report to duty. I'm there without him even calling You're there. Me, no questions asked. <laughs> yeah. wow. No questions yeah, asked. Face swipe below. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I, I believe it. I mean, yeah, at that yeah. point, you kind of have to. Yeah, have to, that much, at least. And not that that would ever happen to all the BTS fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we also got JL over here. What's up? Rick. JL Yo, is up, the buddy? other half of Rick. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, hold on, man. Hold the fuck up. So what does that even mean? What do you no. mean the other half of Rick? Okay, I'm sorry. Rick, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not other half of Rick. The yeah. other half of the group you guys yeah. are. Yeah. I misphrased that. For sure. Dude. That's actually kind of yes. sweet, you know? Yeah. Our best friends. But that's that's what you people usually say when they're like, you people. You people. <laughs> you people. <laughs> no rap what, duos? boom bappers? What are you talking about? You people. Clarify yourself. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, people say like, my other other half is this person right so right. if your other half is his i mean i rap could say music it. wise yeah 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 i <laughs> could say that but you said you said my other half yeah. is rick I'm like I my mean, better half JL. is jl yeah but Our duo when you're group. describing the person you don't say that they're the other half of you okay. you know what i'm okay. saying no. yeah all right and that's i am one half people yeah mm. 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 Okay. they're not no. married they're married to the rap game we were married we were divorced we're now here married divorced we're working on it right now we're separated yeah it's, it's cool because there are two duos here. There's duo, you guys, and then Juno and G2 had a duo project. Yeah. yeah. Could, could he, I ask? He's my other half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's my other half. Oh, that's cute. Other Let half. me ask you guys. <laughs> um, jumping into a duo situation as individual solo artists, what was that experience like for both of you guys? Was, it, was there like a rough, you know, newlywed era? <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, with us, we've been rapping together yeah. for such a long time. It right. just say it just seemed natural. It was a natural. How fail. long yep. has it been? We were rapping at least like six, seven years before we became an official it, duo. Yeah. Engaged for six years. Before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a long we didn't pop the question. Did not. <laughs> I didn't pop the question until about six, wait, wait. seven years. <laughs> 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 I, I, hold on, hold on. I know we're using this marriage metaphor <laughs> yeah, for content. Know. Let's stop it. Yeah, let's okay. stop it. <laughs>
What's up, guys? I know mental health has been an important topic of discussion for everybody out there in the world, and it's something that's dear to my heart. For anybody who's been listening to my podcast knows I've been on this journey towards sobriety, dealing with stress, anxiety, and even having problems with sleep. And I would not be able to get through my days without the help of a wonderful app called Headspace. Headspace has breathing exercises, guided meditations, and experts in all different types of fields that help you with these mental health issues issues. Whether you're a first timer or a practicing person, trust me, this is easy to use and it's helped me throughout the nights with nighttime soundscapes in the daytime with these quick on the go meditation exercises that only last a few minutes. Headspace has helped me and more than 100 million people worldwide and they can help you too. Listen up, you do not want to miss this. I've arranged something special for a limited time. All of you can try Headspace free for 30 days by going to headspace.com slash fun with them. You don't want to miss this offer and you won't get it anywhere else. You must use my link, Headspace, H-E-A-D-S-P-A-C-E dot com slash fun with them to unlock all of Headspace free for 30 days. This is not something they normally do. Headspace.com slash fun with them. <laughs> but, but let me ask you, so is it is it more fun and easier in the beginning and gets harder later or is it vice versa? Uh, it's definitely mm. more fun in the beginning. There's a honeymoon period. There's a honeymoon <laughs> period. Uh, I heard yeah. you said we're going away from it. But we're like, There's no other so, way to like, what is it? Yeah, I think, I think in the beginning it's like fun because you're just in it and it's just like, yeah, it's just whatever you feel and like, oh, that's dope. All right, rap over it. Boom, make a song. But then I feel like as time goes on, you begin to develop more of like, wait, I actually want this. Uh, right. And then the other yeah, person's yeah. like, oh, I kind of want this style. Though. Yeah. And then, then like, yeah. that's when you have to creatively like maneuver that. It's not a Kai Bible. <laughs> I feel like that's You got to pull straws for sure. Sometimes, right? Except yeah, now, huh? I feel like compromise has a little bit. Uh, I mean, collaboration has a little bit of a passive aggressive. I was just about to say that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about so to say I'm that. Passive to, aggressiveness. I'm trying to figure out, like, how do you keep it real with somebody without just kind of being passive aggressive as well, but yeah. still be nice while you collaborate? You I know think what I mean? it's kind of like having a friend over versus, like, <laughs> actually having a roommate. Ooh. Oh. You have to share. You have to have that like social. That's crazy because we actually did start we were roommates together together yeah. in yeah. a loft. Wait, that's... elaborate on that. That's good. I like yeah, that. That's good. Go that's I mean, because if I'm like you know inviting a homie over for a feature, like it's my house, my rules. Right. But if we're sharing like a, a living room space, like a bathroom, like if, if you're an adult, you're gonna have like certain compromise yeah. and then make you know sacrifices and compromises yeah. to make everybody happy and stuff. Wow. You know? wow. So Absolutely. you're saying awesome. you're you're able to call the shots more. <laughs> If you own the space For and sure. the studio yeah. equipment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, wow. basically, yeah. yeah. You kind of run shit. You own the master. Like, yeah. I, just said, I just agree with whatever. I'm just looking song. around right now, and this is my space. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, man? No. You call the shots, bro. What, is it, what else you more do you shot. want right now? <laughs> what do you what want? can you ask for? Nah, but dumb, you're right. A lot of the dialogue in the studio in the beginning, it's a lot of passive. It's like, well, that's a good idea, but, mm. you know, or like, no, I, I like that. I like that. Can we, yeah. can we? possibly try this you know right. but if you're a true duo and there's a true camaraderie that has to sh that has to fade away you know what i mean like wow. jl and i we got to the point where like i'll write like a verse and you'll be like nah that ain't it you know yeah, yeah, and as yeah, much yeah. as like be, that as much as that kills me it saves time you know what i mean yeah we, we don't want to lie to each other and gas each other up yeah. and then we're on stage and then the next thing we know we're like Ooh, have you ever have you ever responded like no this is it of course, absolutely. Like, all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, I don't, know, I don't think he really ever has done that, though. Like, we take each other's, like, input. Yeah, I see, I yeah, see. we do. Yeah, yeah. Because Is that the same with you guys, too, though? Pause. Like, are you, or have you guys ever gotten into an argument? Well, for me, the smiles no. and tribulations thing, I was always visiting L.A., you know, because I was kind of prepping my uh, transition from uh, Korea to here. Yeah. And so starting that project during my visits and just kind of, finally moving here and finishing the project that gave me a lot of motivation because you know that's uh -huh. what i you know thank juno a lot for because i actually had like a, a purpose and objective as soon as i got here mm. and and it, for me it was just like just a honeymoon phase in general just just being here in, in the states again and so everything was just fun and just like jolly you know right I mean? like, yeah. and when you when you decide to like collaborate with somebody that means you have that much like respect and 
you know, all that stuff. So Mutual like, yeah, 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 yeah. And there's no definitely. like labels involved. There's no managers involved. At, at the end of the day, we're just like two friends just having fun. So yeah. that album title sounds like passive aggression. <laughs> Smiles yeah, and tribulation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, I mean, honestly, we were, we were going through it. We were going through it. We were trying to smile through the tribulations. Yeah, you're, for, you're forcing a <laughs> smile through some tribulations. I'll tell you that. Still am. That's Still that's am. That. Nothing I mean, changed. That's, yeah. But that's, I, I like that title because I do feel like you guys are troopers when it comes to this lifestyle. Because as we all know, this is a very difficult lifestyle. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it's super Don't hard. Don't straight at me. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, no, be, no, because this independent music lifestyle, after years, turns you into me like this grumpy <laughs> oh. yeah, i'm just saying grumpy Whoa. pessimistic right, right. negative yeah. nihilistic yeah, yeah. Like, Larry i remember David. when i was younger i was like why are these ogs and veterans and heroes of mine so angry uh, now, now you like, know i get it Dude. i get it definitely uh, it's crazy. Crazy. crazy i feel that now that. Wow. yeah That's why crazy. yeah wow. i mean you're, where are you right now in your life how right. happy okay. are you okay. are you so, more, are you so, more so, smiles tri or tribulations so, right. so, 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 <laughs> Having, having studied your your up and your your whole uh, career, to be honest, bro, like to this point, like you know, I've seen it many shows. Just, just introing with that, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'm 26, turning 27 in a okay. couple of months, and I f really feel like, like you know, when you first start uh, started Knox Eddie, you had the whole office and all that. A lot, you know, maybe they might not know, but you know, basically getting to the next tier of things, you know, and, mm. and getting to the next tier is so hard. And I'm sure you understand that. So when yeah. I look at you and the the pathway of your career, you know what I'm saying? I feel like so respectable and just I know how much work it takes. So coming from another independent up and coming artist, like dang, dude, a lot of what we're doing is no, tough, I appreciate man. you. That's why I invited you here to say dude, shit like just that. Just to let them yeah. know. I mean, he's <laughs> yeah, been yeah, on yeah. it since the beginning. He's like, you got nice feet. No, but <laughs> <Top yeah. dumb. laughs> he got clean ass feet. Show hey, him hey, the feet. Hey, it's hey. not. No, but it's I was will, service terms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, will, sure. I will say this though. <laughs> oh, that's true. I will say this. The truth is, you know, there is never gonna be a tear you're happy with. You know what I'm saying? Dude, and so the true. The truth is, like, and I know as corny as this sounds, the journey is the reward, right? It's like, everlasting. You've always heard this so many times that, from right, people, right. but it really is. These experiences are the things that yeah. we've actually worked for. Yeah. We fact. wanted this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Dumb, did yeah. you ever have a partner or duo, like, in your career? Yeah, did I was, you, I was yeah. in a uh, swim team, crew right? called Swim Team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With eight people. With eight people, Jesus. I mean, honestly, when I was in that group experience and seeing, like, a group like Wu-Tang, right? That's still doing it, touring together. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty commendable, man. For mm -hmm. sure. And mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think everything is happy. Those guys are probably fighting all the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, come on, the yeah, 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 he, yeah. Rick has actually toured with some Wu members. Yeah, yeah. And so he's been through it. Mm -hmm. Um, but the fact that they're still existing and somehow they're like, let's still get this bag for sure. Like yeah. I respect that because that shit is not easy, man. Like Absolutely. when you decide you don't want to fuck with somebody no more. A lot yeah. of people are just done. It's they don't want to yeah, do yeah. this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But you know what's worse than not fucking with a homie? Is trying to find a new homie to fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> that is way harder. Hell yeah. yeah. That is way harder. Hell yeah, After dude. all the baggage, it's like, oh, do you have those qualities? Oh, or? no. A homie has to shoot me to go find another homie. <laughs> like, I, he has to backstab me hard for me oh, to go and find, yeah. find a new homie. Amen. amen. You know what I mean? I, I will let shit slide right, until right. I have to go find another homie. God like, damn. It's exhausting. Is there, find is another there a, like a, a lot of communication like if you guys started the relationship and like had your like you know when you move in with a roommate and you're like hey this is me making the beats you do the rapping <laughs> you do the dancing and the TikTok. i hate it how you're describing what, the process. one no, person no. does the cooking so i don't know like if could, have you guys done that before like some roles are said but some roles are very like i feel like it's very organic and natural because yeah. naturally we find mm. out who's like what the strong suit is mm. like, you know? yeah. yeah i'll give you an example uh, okay. for like you're the ox out of us, just characteristic wise, JL's so much more organized and he's a little bit more like uh, responsible. You know what I'm saying? I see that. I so, see So, all right, it. well, chill. <laughs> Can I finish my fucking I, monologue real quick? All it. right. So, like, so the roles, the unspoken roles is when we're together, like the email responses, yeah. you know, all these things. He, it's not like I'm solely relying on him, but we know each other's like uh, 
gifts and our strengths, you know? Like yeah. with me too, like I'm a little bit more outgoing and just kind of like talking and, you know, people pleasing or whatever. So when we're introduced to new spots, you know, I'll do a lot of the talking and just kind of getting used right, to it. Right, right. But, you know, we need the backbone, front bone. We need all that, you know? So. I think with a relationship, it's <laughs> Don't ever say front bone. <laughs> front <laughs> bone? <laughs> that bone. That should make me feel uncomfortable. Phalanges. <laughs> and the front bone's connected to the backbone. <laughs> it's crazy because that, that dynamic yeah. is kind kind of like how me and G2 are yeah you know? and when we started working on the project together I was like oh yeah like G's more of the like all right you you go yeah. entertain everybody I'll be back yeah. here <laughs> oh, this motherfucker had Excel open I was like you know how to use Excel <laughs> <laughs> like what do we need this for the album 100%. <laughs> it's Anything literally else? like any relationship it's like one person is always more of that person the energy yeah. person I would say and the mm. other person you need one person who is like the more Type A, I would say, organized yeah. on top of shit, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. As a duo, you do need that duality yeah. in, in the. And you guys all. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. You know what I'm saying, did you? I looked at you when I said. It. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask but you guys. But we do need that. Okay, let yeah, me ask you guys as a yeah. duo too. This is a question regarding to your branding. Do you guys ever think about what you guys are gonna wear on stage? Do you guys uh, have Do you guys have oh. any conversation <sighs> together? So in the beginning, I always thought like, oh, like, well, because I always think about what I'm gonna wear, just because like, oh, right. you no, know, it's I'm part of the yeah. it's part of it. Yeah. 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 yeah, but then once I started to understand G more and then what he wears, like I, I just didn't ask. I was like, all right, you gonna wear the Crocs? All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, same, same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rick yeah. is the yeah. unstylable yeah. MC, as we know. Yeah. Yeah. JL doesn't tell me what to wear; he tells me what not to wear. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll, I'll be I'll in the back. I call. I'll be like, just watch it. Why don't you just sing? So there, there are fits that if you're if you're completely different, that could work, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you got Big Boy and Andre, right? Like yeah, they, they're exactly. different styles. But there's also some shit where one person can throw <laughs> off the whole yeah, thing. For sure. You know, do you say something or what? Have oh, you I say something. Well, yeah. What have you said to Rick about his fit? Bro, this is not like. church. <laughs> Take the blazer off. <laughs> no, I wear blazers to the show. No, I'll just be like, bro, like you see like bro, we should yeah. Think about our outfits at least and coordinate yeah. in some way. At like, least look in the mirror. <laughs> look at, look at, look at, at you. least look in yeah. the mirror, dude. At least check the weather. Yeah, yeah. But Rick doesn't think about it until like, yeah, the day of like an hour before he'll be like, All right, I'm just, like just gonna wear this. Yo, he lifts my tip of hands up. He's like, You're wearing two different socks. <laughs> I don't, think I don't like, believe you. you. That's not relative. I don't believe. You. I don't think exactly. Bro, just like, <laughs> not, bro, we're so sick. yeah. All right. Well, because I well, okay. the, the difference is I even though I wear Crocs, I think I still dress good. Oh yeah, I think, I think yeah you right. yeah. You but this dude, he wears just like, like gym shorts, yeah. like very in the like middle Western of winter. Hippie. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the Crocs are more of an aesthetic. Yeah. It's not just yeah, like no. for comfort. Like, it's like his personality. Into yeah, the fit. Exactly, exactly. I make yeah. it sense. It, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's your style. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's in the front. I'd bad. wear the sit up bottoms. See, that's the issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I wear the church retreat slippers, and that's fucking everything up. I get you. I get you. So that's interesting because like you guys are going on tour, right? That's why you guys are all together. Did we already love that segue? Right? You guys are all. Wait, is that a bad segue? There's a possible. Tour, yeah, yeah, world. yeah. Oh. That's exclusive news that you just dropped. Oh my god, right really? No, it's yeah. all good. It's all good. Wow, Perfect. I can't believe I'm the I one that perfect. at all. I did part tell of you it. Yeah. before it started, but it's fine. Oh <laughs> totally I'm fine. So we have sorry. two singles coming out, right? right. Yeah, nice, right. nice. Right. Yeah. Oops. All right, well, yeah, yeah. let's. Uh, so we have a question. show March 26th. Yeah, we have a show March 26th. Well, the interesting thing is now that you guys, there's two duos and there's an extra actor, you guys all formed a collaborative project together or like a, a tour right. that's now more heads. Right. More people. What's that experience been like? Are we separating each other, bro? We're not. We're not melding like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like everyone is still their own entity. We're like a collective right now. Uh, I get you. Yeah, yeah. But working yeah. with each other has been chill. No, yeah, absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. It was so fun. Yeah, because like, just came, had, came together very naturally. Yeah. We were all already making music, and then exactly. we just happened to link up at at, at the studio, and, and you know. Yeah. Who's the Who's the worst to deal with? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Who's the worst to deal with? Who's the in, worst in what sense? In, in, what sense? in, in, in every uh, element, oh it's probably you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not working on. I'm not working with y'all. But nah. But to be honest, man, everyone's been on point. Everyone's yeah. been on point. Yeah. Yeah. It's been very so natural it's you. too. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's been on point. The person who actually the, it's always no, that no, no. person. The yeah. worst person always no, like we're all good. Oh, it's Everyone been great. great. No, no, I have to choose actually. Right, dude. Yeah. We're all we started working it. together after I got my iPhone. There's been no issues. It's been good. Uh, are you, are you guys oh, yeah, gonna plan yeah. out your outfits together? And then I feel as like a as a tour? collective tour, yeah. I want to see you guys wear outfits that match each other. And I feel like you, because you're already kind of the odd man out because it's two rap groups and you as like the singer i feel like it, you're typically the person that's kind of like 
I don't know what it's called. You're like coming in and you sing. What is that called? What is it? Oh, I'm the hook. You're the hook. I'm the hook. <laughs> yeah. I'm the together. Chris Breezy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're the Chris. And you always, I feel like they always dress really well. You already dressed, every time I see you, you're dressed really immaculately. Thank you. you but too as well. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Do you care about what these fools look like? And you, no, I you, really do. You do care you about You look at them. our group chat today. I was like, what are you guys wearing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just like he said. She's yeah. like, whatever, bro. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me. I, I, I said, I said, just some regular shit. Oh, he, exactly. <laughs> Because like, oh I didn't even like the question to begin with. I was like, the I fuck? Think, I could just wear I think, some shit. I think K-pop has taught us that oh, like shit. everyone, when they dress like in the exact same outfit, they should kind of look alike. Yeah. <laughs> you guys? <laughs> nah. It's they're... like it's like a bank heist team <laughs> dressing in suits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, shit, bro. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. So Yo, I'm going sh- to share a story, bro. So for one of our videos that we shot, <laughs> um, we all met up at the apartment. Yeah, and I walked in. Everyone was already there. I walked in, <laughs> and as soon as I walked in, four of them had different jackets held up. Like, how about this? They all brought clothes for me, dude. Wow. You know what I mean? Trying to style me. They all brought clothes. Yeah, for yeah. They had hair you products. An extra jacket. The funny thing was, for me. we were all in denim jackets for some yeah. reason yeah. for the shoot. Oh yeah, we did match. Just randomly, yeah. we did yeah. match. And the funny thing was, nothing except fit Rick. Rick. Yeah. Except Rick. Well, we <laughs> found something. We found something. Rick, for Rick has yeah. always joked about like certain things just not fitting him properly. Yeah. But now I'm a believer because no, because like there's certain things. My, like, my, my body him. ratios is a little weird, mm. bro. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we make it work. It was nice, though. I felt very like uh, there was a provision there. Like me going and ha- just having Juno, like he got a <laughs> one of one fear of God, his size. But he's like, this is better yeah. than what you got on right now. Dude. <laughs> you know, just people helping me out, becoming each other's crutches. I think that's nice. very important. That's, that's nice. love, man. That's love. <laughs> that's Did I feel awesome. good about it? No. but you know. <laughs> I think if you accept well, you, it, if you do accept it, yeah. it, it can really work. You're just no, like, no. all right. For sure. For You're sure. really the biggest star. I mean, let's think about point, it. Right? Yo, even yeah. when we went on tour. <laughs> Like, you know, you let us borrow some jackets. You know, it's fun. Like, when you're on tour and you're with the boys, you just kind of play dress up a little bit, you know, make sure everything. <laughs> yo, 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 no, nah, let's be boys. real. Let's not lie. No, no, it's just, uh, no, I'm, yeah, I guess. Social let's media. Be mature. Let's be we, mature. Let's we have mature. talks like, hey, don't post this yet because I want this. Yo, it's just funny because we've heard it so much. Girls being like, when we're with the girls, we play dress up. Yeah, and they're like, when we're with the boys, we play yeah, dress yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It's, he said it. He said it. But, I mean, but there is Sounds this thing fun. like of, like, like oh how, how to look is it fresh like right. people do say that Absolutely. fresh friends Absolutely. <laughs> maybe not fresh maybe <laughs> dope <laughs> i think that's why fresh. i give it a fuck i like that i oh, like the yeah. group chat you guys i imagine you guys all you know group chatting each other and being like rise and shine <laughs> let's put on our outfits what are you guys wearing today our group and chat title out. is literally called voltron, voltron. <laughs> <laughs> what? yeah that wasn't even <laughs> yeah, all right. You, all you're, right. So I, you're you're 26, 27? 27. You're you're a decade nice. younger than me. Yeah, I met you when you were pretty young then. Pretty young. Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. young. So you were like 19 or some shit, 18 maybe. Yeah, around that age. Yeah. That's what's up, man. <laughs> You've always been pretty tall too. Yes, sir. <laughs> is that yeah, all you man. had to say? Yes, sir. I, what's funny is is I, in my mind I'm like, man, Dumb probably remembers all the times we, we reacted, but it's like, nah. No, I, I, <laughs> I just don't, I hate that I had to give advice to somebody while looking up. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's not a good. So I'll tell you what you gotta do, kid. Uh, you know, it's just like. It's you already a, won. You already won. There's no advice to give. Yeah, no, it's yeah. not no. a good feeling. You know what I mean? For hey, sure. man. But look, I, I looked up to you like. No, you did. No, you did. You looked no, down. <laughs> for quite the time. No, I feel that. Bro, uh, let I me, mean, wait. So let me ask you. Um, ha, uh, did you drink a lot of milk growing up? I, dude, I, I really actually did. Yeah. You did? I did. So like, that shit worked. So that shit worked. I did too. Yeah. Which, one? Which, which one? Which one? Which kind? Whole milk? Two percent. Altadena or. Altadena. How tall okay, your shout parents? Out. Oh, okay. So my grandfather's actually the jeans. You know how they say he skips the jeans? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, not for not uh, for height. Generation, not for bad. height. No, it does. No fact. Height? Factual. Yeah. Mom or dad's side? My my father's side. Yeah. Yes, that's a thing. So my it grandpa is. was six three, same okay. exact height as me. Yeah. Damn. You're six yeah. three. Six three. That's yeah. insane. Jesus. Damn, you bro, rarely yeah. hear of that, but oh. these days. Kids are made different. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why I just said that <laughs> word. That's really there's there's uh, people from a six three year old new generation. So, so you remember yeah. specifically drinking a lot of milk and yeah. that's why you are the way you are. I think so. I think it's that in basketball. There's a there's a theory that if you jump a lot or if you swim, <laughs> your so ligaments Korean. are gonna Yeah. 
So, so you Korean jumped a lot. Korean. You're an active <laughs> guy. Jumped a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're... Um, do you think... Okay, so, Dumb, you've been, like, working out a lot, and you're constantly posting about yourself, like, working out. <laughs> yeah, that's just a, that was a loaded... A uh, lot yeah. of, you know, arm. You're constantly. starting to... Constantly. Yeah. So do you think... And I know Shut. you work out. Yeah. If you guys battled each other in arm wrestling, what oh, would happen? Oh, man. I don't... First of all, a bat. Why do you keep saying battle? Like, everything in my life isn't a battle. battle yeah. It feels like uh, it sometimes. King of the dot. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I can't. This guy's a lot more fit than I am. I'm new to okay. this. But fitness I, game. I will say, though, I have commented on this multiple times. I'm like, yo, Dumb has a fucking six pack, man. He does. Like, yeah. I'm, dude, I'm it's a coming. Of soldiers in the refrigerator, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> like, they don't. <laughs> We're still doing the alcoholic six pack jokes. Like, you know. No, um, but I'm I'm actually so proud of that because, you know, I. So you're proud of me now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so you're proud of me now. That's huh? the worst thing you could switch. say to this guy. That's the worst thing you could say. It's a switch up. No, I mean, because, you know, kidding. every other time that we met when I was a lot younger, man, like we were drinking and having a great time, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now you're going to say I'm just giving alcohol to <laughs> underage kids. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no, no, not even that. We're going to cut that out. I mean, anyway. anyway no, no, it's but, live. It's no. just, <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just a switch up, man. I, I really feel like, like the fact that you really dedicated to that, yeah. For so many people that I know, like personally, it's really hard. Yeah. And like, I really gotta coach them through that. Like, you know, I taught people how to box, and like, I understand how hard it is to well, get damn. someone to do something that they don't want. That's, yeah, man. Or, yeah, yeah. Or if it's hard for them, so I'm no, like, fitness man. is hard. I used to, I used to hate buff dudes. You know what I mean? I used Facts. to be like, look at this whack ass buff dude. Yeah. And that's like a weird diss, right? Look <laughs> <laughs> at this motherfucker off. I like, smell no, the hate no, off that statement. Oh, really? I actually shit. thought that. Oh, man, but don't, it's don't kinda... watch Physical 100. Though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I, that okay, was here's a... the thing about me. Like, when I was growing up, I would find ways to hate people. Like, it's hard to hate. Like, just say, like, some weird shit like that, right? Look at this smart guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, for some reason, I hated people who just did better than me, right? Right, and, right. But it's like. Naturally, naturally. That was just me being, like, working being through my hater. own problems. A piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. my own insecurities. <laughs> yeah. But you know they're doing well when it's hard to make fun of them. For sure. That's you know so what I mean? True, it's man. really hard to yeah. make you buff ass, yeah. chiseled. You know what I mean? You're <laughs> using, <laughs> successful. <laughs> You're using chiseled in a roast. You're just chiseled ass fool. But I would say this. You guys, you're a great singer. Um, I w- let me you ask gorgeous you. Ass. Ass. <laughs> gorgeous ass. Gorgeous well, ass. Look at those veins. <laughs> look, at those. <laughs> look at those veins pop out of the yeah, sun. Yeah, like a like, map quest over you here. Um, tall ass motherfucker. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> ass. That was a boomer thing. ass rep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. What? Don't even say that. Bro. You know what map quest it. is? Bro, I, I used to bike on map quest. Okay. Bro. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't even yeah. put me in there. Oh, oh, you were still young. You were biking, so. Yeah. Just got hood real quick. Fucking walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, you know a paper route? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um, <no. laughs> yeah, map plus. Yeah, yeah. Going like Korea Times to... out of basket. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Sweetie, the paper's here. The melodic paper boy is uh, <laughs> passing by. Um, no, I gotta ask you. <laughs> to all the rappers, um, I know for me personally, like I always wish I could like just. Part of me sometimes wish I could sing more than I could rap. You ever think that? Absolutely. Yes. You ever Clearly. wish like you could have that <laughs> Definitely. a little bit more? In the karaoke. For sure. I think yeah. for me it's because as I love rapping. Yeah. And the thing is, I, I've always been like wordy when I rap, right? Yeah. But as you get older, you realize it's about sometimes doing less. Less. Yeah. Say, saying more with less, yeah. right? Yeah. And Why I think use that, more words? <laughs> yeah. Why do you use say more it like sounds. that? I think it's more <laughs> well, but what I mean is like I feel like singing is a great example of that because mm. you can use such simple simple lyrics and be really deep with it still yeah, you know what sure, i mean and, sure. and it translates yeah. sometimes just through the melodies or the harmony or whatever you're it's emoting like, a different thing outside of just words yeah. right. there's another element to it mm-hmm. the reason why i wanted to sing more than rap is because when i'm on stage and i see the girls reactions right, yeah, right. It's in my deepest like the most mush in the moment when i'm rapping their faces are just like but yeah. then when a singer harmonizes yeah. you know when they melt like it's a different it's a different res, re, the like, eyes change the eyes the change eyes a little change, bit like, yo it's I, funny you guys see it so you guys are up there with him right oh, yeah. you see it so you <laughs> oh no we no we haven't done yeah. anything 
like no but yeah. you, they know they've we'll been there yeah. with the melodic yeah. motherfucker sure. <laughs> and they we'll have see. looked in <laughs> the eyes it's kind of like i'm gonna get mad on stage <laughs> melt <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. so you think the more you get more hoes when your uh, raps are more melodic i think, rap, I think so. the oh, yeah, more definitely. melodic your raps are the more definitely. hoes you get because like no chick wants to hear a guy over explain himself right yeah yeah if you're really wordy and you're like literally mansplaining to me right now too much you know what i mean i think you're using this like as a listener I have to be like, oh, okay, I gotta keep up with the words of what he's coming out of his mouth. Yeah. But, but when you you're using, using melodies, this. you, 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 you accept, use the heart. Yeah. You are accepting so. shit from here, but also here. Wow. So you're yeah. like, accepting God the vibrations. Damn. Yeah. It's, it's hit more things. So, so you, yeah. sometimes pussy's just like, you're too wordy for me. Okay? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pussy barely talks at that point. Really. It's all up here. You pussy's want like, I'm not hearing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, but if you rap really fast, though, it's, it's yeah. another, you know, it's another Oh, actually, that's true. Oh, like, what that tongue do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that true? No. Is that so you're telling me Come when on. someone is double timing? <laughs> hey, why do you think I double time all the time, bro? <laughs> <laughs> We, fuck you uh, mean do I really rap <laughs> yeah but do you, you really think a girl's gonna think you're gonna do that to their pussy bro <laughs> yeah he's done it yes what he's the fuck <laughs> bro you don't think he did fucking seven <laughs> rings on some girls yes that's why energy is so important because you could go yeah. in there and oh rap and be yeah. really hardcore and use your body and your energy yeah. and yeah. you're like oh he's gonna fuck me like that while he's For talking sure. to me Buster <laughs> Rhymes calls in it's like it's all true man <laughs> I would attest to that though, because you know, uh, be, being in a part of the dance world, a lot of girls they would assume like, oh, dancers are probably the, one of the best. Mm. In yeah, the yeah, right. dude. Actually, contrary, I've heard, I've heard the contrary. Really? Yeah, yeah. by so many women, they're like, no, this dancer, this dancer. No. They need a choreo in bed. <laughs> See, that, that's it. It wasn't choreographed. So yeah. It was yeah, 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 on yeah, five, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, they nah. lost the count. They lost the count. They lost the count. <laughs> <laughs> like if five, you can't, six, yeah. Yeah. I didn't start over. I didn't start over. If she wasn't on. A lot of freestyle dancing that <laughs> shit, you know. What See, I mean? but y'all freestyle king of the dot, man. Right. It's just yeah, all that's true. Spot, I know? freestyle, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the dome. Top, Top of the dome, of the man. Dome. Wait, do you think a rapper or a singer is better in bed? <laughs> well, you can't ask. No, because there are rappers that are. First of all, have you guys first never of all, I don't know why I'm up? thinking about. Have you guys? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Think of yeah. yeah. the opposite or whoever you're attracted to. Have you yeah. guys ever hooked up with a rapper or a singer? Okay, I'm gonna break it down like this. I think rappers have better timing, but I think singers are a little more passionate. Ooh, <laughs> it's a good fifty-fifty. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all right, okay. we're metronomy. Yeah. All we're right. metronomy. We're Dr. Okay. Beat. We're Dr. Beat with it, but you know it's they it's have the little legato in them. You know they I got did, the sustain pedal. Fuck. I did ask the same <laughs> question to Sheila, who's a dancer, and she's yeah. in the dancer community, and she definitely said like dancers do have something extra in, fact, in the sack. Fact, fact. And she did say she would never really like she she wouldn't really preferably not want to be in a relationship with someone who can't dance. Mm. So dancing Ooh, could wow. mean a lot to somebody. Mm. I, I guess. Being really silly at dancing could be, you know, not an attractive quality, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, someone. Let's give it a dance. No, on. I mean, guy, it's different with a girl, because a guy, no matter, you know, we, we'll smash a two who can't dance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, guys. A two, two that can't dance? <laughs> really? She can't even dance? <laughs> I don't know, man. She better be so able to she dance can, at she a can two. Dance. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. Uh, okay. What about two that can dance? That's That's now we're two half. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah. two, yeah. That's two dance. that can dance is like a four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, That's yo, a yo four. send me send me the formula for this. Yeah. yeah I, I, I think I, I don't know. There are the qualities, you know what I mean? But here's the thing, it's like a lot of us too. I mean, there's some, a lot of you guys are just naturally good, handsome and shit. You know, some. <laughs> oh, <why laughs> you you almost said like gorgeous. Why? Yeah, no. I was like, damn, well, these men are beautiful. Are beautiful. Some of us are. He said a lot. Of you guys. <laughs> no, motherfuckers are beautiful. <laughs> some of y'all not so much, uh, but at least half of y'all are handsome. Uh, no, no. What I mean by this is that I've thought about certain things. Like if I wasn't a rapper or whether it's like funny or have this other quality, like yeah. how much could I actually pull? Have you yeah. ever thought I think about, about this things? all the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. He's like, I, I stay up at night thinking <laughs> about these the things. Dude, to 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. Oh, six, three. <laughs> <laughs> what six, three? Insecurity is real, man. Yeah. yeah, what percentage do you think if you didn't have skills, particularly <laughs> rap, would you get girls? 
In Los girls. Angeles, I feel like, dude, people are so cutthroat. He has an answer for everything. Especially here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you, would you guys agree, though? I don't know. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, there's, not much, there's not much of a difference for me. Because, man, you'll what see you mean, somebody. Like, you mean you rapping is like the same as not I mean, rapping? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. I don't flirt with girls. I just talk. No, oh because if you didn't rap that's and flirting. make music, what else would you be doing that's an interesting thing for, you know, to. At a party or something. Oh shit! I don't is that know. a party? Rapping is just a party <laughs> trick now. That's what it is. People know that you're a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's 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 my point. People don't know like I'm a rapper right off the bat. Like I don't go around like showing. Oh, like, they do, bro. My no, they do. I don't. Think, I don't think they think you're an accountant. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I need that guy to do my taxes. That's the one I need. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, even if you don't rap, though, just personality wise, I think we're just polarizing figures. You know what I mean? Like we rap. That's the that's the hobby or, or the career that we chose. But it's just there's there has something, to be something in us. behind there. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, we, we want to share, you know, we there's there's something about us that just we, we want to exude something. Right. You know, like for me, too, like if I wasn't rapping. I would definitely swoon girls with like cooking, you know what I mean? Cooking. Feeding them, mm. you know what I'm saying? And also, you know, like my thumb situation, I'm a great massage giver. You see what I'm yeah. saying? I so like, that. I will just, I, I will just, you know, that. I'll figure out ways to. <laughs> that to didn't please. sound creepy. Let me massage you my shiatsu. <laughs> well, here, well, here's the thing. So I, I feel you, and I yeah. think it's interesting because cooking is one of those things that. A lot of people do. Yeah, it's not like no, but they're not that good. Not everyone's good. That's true. Mm. And not everyone puts soul into it. And I know this guy would put soul into it. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got the fucking. Is this the bear? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like everybody cooks. You're right, right. I mean, no. it's just, but it's a, it's a like a man, a, 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 like a human skill. Yeah, but you, yeah, you can get it. it. Like you can, you don't, yeah. you don't that's have the difference that skill. In, yeah, you don't you, have that skill. Not a at zero. Yeah. Right. I mean, but cook. it is interesting. People have these multiple skills mm -hmm. that are very attractive qualities. Right? Oh. You can cook really well, and you can rap. That almost seems like a very unfair trait, right? Like those are two amazing things someone can do. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think most people are like, "Wow, you rap!" Like, I don't cook. think. Girls <laughs> are, I, don't, I, I think guys are Rick more into <laughs> other guys rapping than girls are like, "Wow, he's a rapper!" Like that's not. Steph like, makes me feel shitty for rapping. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Over the but years, you, bro. But you cook, man. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you massage the shit. That's oh, almost that. like you don't have a third thing you can do well. <laughs> See LA, bro. God damn. Oh, yeah. I'm in a room of like fucking ten rappers. Like, yeah. it's okay, like, Excellent. what else can you do? <laughs> yeah, no, so, like. so let me tell you. Let me ask you this. A rap. So, rapping well is not an impressive. No, it is. Trait I'm just joking. I actually, I was telling you, I t I talked to my girlfriends about this because I was like, I dated a rapper, and and I was like, isn't it hot? And she's like. No, and that's when I it was a reality check, right? I was like, yeah, they are just rhyming words, right? Like, and I was like, that is true. Why? Where, you see what I'm saying? Where just in this rhyming? world would this actually this skill help me in life? Yeah. Like, if there was an apocalypse, you can't talk your way, you can't rap your so way. So, so like you're saying a rap, you don't see a future with a rapper because you don't feel like that person can be beyond beyond financial, right? Be there for you in other ways. I mean, financially, by the way, most rappers, I'm gonna say, I don't know if you guys are killing it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, are you kidding me? What the fuck are you talking about? You're talking about yourself, true, right? True. So oh first God. of all, that's again, and then the other thing is like, yes, like, are you gonna fuck it? Like, when I have like a water, you know, water's like spilling out of like the the plumbing, plumbing. Like plumbing problems. Yeah, like are you gonna like I'm a you can't live? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lyrically like, Yo, make your way out. Yeah. The flow <laughs> stops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Man, there it is. Come on. There it is. There's something there. There was something there. <laughs> there was something there. <laughs> you know? you Did someone say drip? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Not here, let uh, me tell you that's for sure. Pipe it up. <laughs> Pipe, Pipe it up. up. Pipe it. <laughs> Plumbing's oh, off I here. Keep going. I uh, keep hold yeah. it down. Yeah. Well, that's I would say that like, I would say that like like well, rappers, right? I feel like if you seriously pursue that art, then you're more than a rapper. You're you're like an artist. You're you're a poet, right? Yeah. Like you express yeah. you express your Hot. feelings. That's true. So I would say yeah. that is a 
uh, like an attractive quality yes. in uh, a man yes. is where you can express yourself and be like kind of kind of vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is a very good point. Vulnerable, but cool. yeah, e yeah. even if you're broke, like you're vulnerable. Yeah. So one yeah. for yeah. us, <laughs> say, exactly. one for Steffi. Okay, <laughs> yo, no, Juno, no. thank you. No. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I, I'm so sorry. That is very true, and I think that's why there are so many women that are down to like house these rappers who at, at a young age <laughs> don't have the nah, money. Nah, she ain't lying. But <laughs> Thank God it's just the rappers. That, but that, yeah. it's true that when you... <laughs> <laughs> what? Us? We're good. That, that's even sadder having an R&B singer on your couch. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is Not even sad. a rapper. <laughs> He'll sing you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real sad. Man. <laughs> What's he good for? Lullabies? <laughs> <laughs> but that really helps, you know, when you're alone and lonely and you are feeling like if a man can be vulnerable and like really rap or like say these things be a poet yeah. it really does something but i, I will say you. what you said is right about you said the housing rappers right like we all know early in our careers a yeah. lot of our number one supporters yeah. is some kind of girlfriend or person you're dating who's doing probably better than you because girls just mature faster yeah they get their mm -hmm. financial situation together early housing yeah. How many times have you crashed on the couch? Come you know on, what Drew. I mean? With an Apollo mixer. And a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I turned her vanity mirror into a studio desk. Yeah. She's like, babe, I need to get ready for work. It's like, hold on, <laughs> one more track. <laughs> like, you're like, shh. <laughs> yeah. Using like a fucking one of her face towels as a pop oh filter. Uh, yeah. Okay, but. I need the plug for the mic. <laughs> oh, 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 I got to shoot. Can you do my makeup? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all right. both do makeup? Oh, man. Yes. Oh, so I got to say, that, that there's a lot of support early on you yeah. know and, and what you and to your point we got that we got that perk because we were able to talk our way into their it's hearts. true and you guys are funny and you guys are sweet about like Yes, with your words and shit, but you know. <laughs> and I think I as, sound a like someone that's like been like burnt by. I know like, you fucking oh hate rappers Jesus. so much. No, but let me it's, tell no, you, no, no, not, no. let me tell you, all rappers. <laughs> some rappers don't even have the charm or humor; they just have the rap. Yeah, oh, yeah they have yeah, banger yeah. tracks, right. and that's enough. Yeah. You know, you gotta be good you at gotta fucking be, rapping really at that point. You gotta be, really you gotta good be good. Be good. Real famous. Yeah. In but the also, end, if you're putting effort into anything, you're doing really hard, like working really hard at rapping, if that's what your career is, I think that's very attractive. Like whatever it is, whatever it is that you're doing, but you are passionate, yeah, you're it's going- It's the effort. Yes, yeah. it's the effort and you're putting a lot of effort into it wow. and the time into it and the energy. I think anybody- But imagine that for like 10 years though. That's what I was gonna say. There's <laughs> oh, an expiration, yeah. <laughs> there's an expiration date like that's your girl. A, where is your threshold? They, they, they housed you because you're like, oh, he's following his dreams, right? And the housing came when we were younger the girls were right, like, right. they're not not anymore yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah now, like this motherfucker is still chasing his dream like <laughs> yeah if you don't like, all right yeah. it's time to go up it's, yeah, yeah. It's, time, it's time you gotta you caught it yet you gotta up the budget on your music videos yeah. as you're growing and you're we're not you know, running and gunning every video yeah if it's your five year anniversary you better be shooting on 4k yeah you know what I, mean? I don't even <laughs> Yo, no it's a one ball. take video <laughs> <laughs> it's one creative Creative baby, yeah. it's more creative. Yeah, we go vintage, oh. <laughs> vintage look. Yeah, it's a nostalgic look. Right, um, right, right. No, but but it's true. You got. I feel like you do have to level up. You got to show. You know, show mm. that. Show you're trying more. Like in any job, right? Yeah. You, know, you got to show that you're trying hard. Like yeah, make yeah. those TikTok 100%. videos. The what? Become oh, an oh, oh, appreciating man. your uh, no, appreciate. No, no, no. Make those TikTok videos of like like literally put in the time like that is part of your work like yeah, i think as true. you have the opportunity these days to like be able to like put yourself out there way more so like right, right. Don't think things are cringy. I don't Just know do if TikTok video is going to win her over. <laughs> Dude, I don't care. He's trying. I'm... That's cute. You know? I think if you went viral and you're like making off, like you become like an influencer shit, like through off this, mm. off of this, like who gives a shit? Like, I think that's awesome. I tried the the whole TikTok thing for yeah, you were a going. month straight. Yeah. I posted every single day. You yeah. did? Yeah, because I had this manager who hit me up and then he was, like, he was like, hey, I want to like try helping you. Like, Story all right, try lives. this. Yeah. Like, there's an algorithm. I, I talked to the TikTok people, like, just follow this. So I was like, okay, let me try. So for a month, all I did every day, I woke up, I made videos, I edited them myself, mm. and then I posted it every single day for about like a month and a half. And then organically, it kind of worked. Right here, look at this. 
A lot of views. Oh. Look at that. A lot Super of views. Quick, bro. <laughs> Super yeah, quick. So he had it, one it, with like multiple millions. I remember that. I like the yeah, fit. Yeah, that, it, it, oh, yeah, the, the basketball one was the one that went like kind of viral. Viral, yeah. I, yeah. I like the fit ones. You would always like do these outfit changes. Oh yeah, like, but then like after a month of doing this, I was like, I fucking hate this. You're shit. burnt out. Yeah. Burnt yeah. out. Yeah. It, it made me so tired, yeah. and I was like, damn, I haven't spent my time making music. Music. <gasps> that's that's the hardest yeah. thing about uh. about this social media game is like. I think a lot of people have it skewed, right? Like that's why I don't like the term content creator. creator yep. What's your passion? That's a job. Yeah. yeah what, what's your yeah. passion? You know what I mean? It's everything. Content <laughs> is is everything. Yeah. Right? Attention. Like, this could be content. Yeah. yeah anything. But sure. what do you actually do? Like right. that's what I'm curious about with people. Facts. You know what I mean? And I I noticed that happened during crypto stocks. Uh. People get obsessed with that because I think the biggest thing everyone wants is a shortcut mm. yeah everyone sure. craves a shortcut but yeah. we all know that that doesn't exist it doesn't hard, exist it doesn't hard. even in social media fucking love shortcuts every and right now everybody is famous everyone for, for is famous long? it doesn't matter you know what i mean how, how many times you go out to dinner and there's people like taking a photo with somebody across the table and like right. no one else knows who yeah. they are except yeah. that one yeah. person exactly. that's true exactly. that motherfucker is famous mm. right now that's true yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? and everyone will be mm. famous at one point right. yeah you know? that's the saddest thing about our generation when i think about it especially being the younger one in the circle because it's like to me like this <laughs> is straight reality everybody in high school everybody younger than me yeah wants to be 15 minutes of fame I mean, though it was always looked like that, uh, looked at like that for you know however long and true. this business existed, but it's like every every time it gets shorter. You know, it's saying how funny will you be to these guys next two three years? That is true because it's sad. We it's we really all sad. we've always said fifteen minutes. Yeah, talking to the mic when you're closer. I got you. I got Everyone you. was like fifteen minutes of fame. That was like the term. I don't even know where that came from. Right. Actually, maybe you could look that up, Alex. Fifteen the minutes 80s of fame. Sometime, yeah. yeah, in the eighties. <laughs> yeah. I like I, that. That was a long time ago for you. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. No, because well, what? What you mean? If, if fifteen minutes of fame. Everyone here is like from the eighties. If that phrase was, <laughs> it it came up like maybe in the eighties or seventies or sixties yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> What would it mean be now? Yeah, you think it would be like mm. two minutes of fame? Like one yeah. minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like one minute. I mean, TikToks are what like like thirty seconds. Yeah. Like yeah, if, if yeah. you can't entertain them in the first like ten seconds, mm. they're gone. It's uh. Sad. One scroll. Sad. I feel like with TikTok, especially people who make music, you know, as rappers, I want. I wish we just continued making our raps, and then the content was created like from that. Yeah. From the it was very the organic. Music. Yeah, but yeah. you know when a rapper is starting to cook and starting to do all these other things, yeah. Yeah. trying to, to make yeah, yeah, you, editing and doing all these things, you you kind of losing the focus of like why yeah. you started doing what you did anyway. Right. Mm. Yeah. But exactly. like the it becomes, it becomes yeah. like a survival. But tactic. you know what's the trap and what's frustrating is like so last week I ordered a sandwich and I was like maybe I should try a food vlogging video, right? Yeah. So I did a food review, just eating a sandwich. Did it pop I, up? I've been trying to get stuff to <laughs> get mad views. views for the last like six months. Mm. The sandwich video gets 150,000 <laughs> views. Mm. The tuna sandwich? And I, yeah, and I just ate the sandwich for five minutes. So he's like, you're the tuna guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're the tuna guy. <laughs> so how long did that last for you? <laughs> but it, but I'm just saying, it's just like, it's frustrating because you know, we, we as we mm. all know, we're trying to get a song heard or people yeah. to listen to stuff that we care about. Yes. And then you just make a but bullshit they video <laughs> and they love that. They right. want to see you eat a good sandwich yeah that's your they calling they want to see normal things yeah. Right. Yeah, but that, yeah. that fucks you up because you're like maybe I should make more tuna sandwich videos <laughs> right and then yeah. you're the tuna guy <laughs> yeah. no more music <laughs> you know what I'm saying and I think that actually happens to a lot of content creators yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. that happens yeah. to a lot of people that's true they that's find what... that one thing that pops off and they recreate it again and again, and again. Yeah. that's yeah. what they tell you to do too yeah. oh my yeah. god that's... it's so funny it, it is very discouraging I think this actually this has probably happened to all of us at one point actually. for sure mm -hmm. dude. you know what I mean <laughs> Like, yeah, we all sound pretty bitter about this whole TikTok thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what? It's not. It's actually a blessing in disguise. It, 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 it makes us realize, like, it doesn't matter how many views or whatever. That mm. does not matter. It, in the end, you have to do what you love. Yeah, right. yeah. you really do. Yeah. It, th that I don't give a fuck about that no more. I don't compare mm. myself to anyone else. Yeah, because I think a lot of us have been doing that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, COVID. you're right. Yeah. That's yeah. the freedom, man. You guys got people got to stop comparing yourself yeah. to other people. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You're right. You're right. Real shit. No matter how tall, 
you know you are <laughs> yeah or how many six packs you got <laughs> one in the fridge one right here you're gassing me up bro this guy's too nice bro i'm just saying bro i recognize where you know appreciation is due you know? <clears throat> nah, i appreciate it before you came everybody agreed that you're a very nice guy it's yeah. not nice it's genuine bro like what, what have you that. ever seen him do one fucked up thing like a fucked up <laughs> just yeah, probably yeah, when i was yeah. drunk or something what's the most no. fucked up thing most savage thing you've seen this guy do you yeah, got drunk and he paid the bill. Not seen this. <laughs> Dumb's probably seen the worst of me, to be I, I've, I haven't yeah. seen Justin do anything terrible. Huh? As, I remember yeah. we were. Publicist talk no, you you got I remember anyway. we were in the studio all together, and then we're like listening to this like hard beat. It's just like real dark. And yeah. We're, we're all outside like. Mm. What's going and on? Then in the corner, we hear Justin in the bathroom. <laughs> me 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 me. me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But he just kept going. Like Kermit, you know? I couldn't focus on my rap. I'm For like, sure. well, what you what you didn't see was he was also jerking off. <laughs> yeah, it was coming. It was telling you he's capable of doing some savage shit. So scary, yeah. dude. That's actually crazy. Oh, that, that's wait, what do you mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was. No, it's a funny thought. No, it's a funny thought because like, let's say a dude was so skilled at singing that that was a cover in the rest of you. Really? Like, oh, yeah. I just thought that that's funny. I don't know. I'm sorry. No, what be more funnier is like that's how you actually tune your vocals you're just like oh, there it is okay that's what i was looking for oh my god uh, yeah, no 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 but give uh, it to dumb that's to great. say that but yeah. to be honest though i i actually think everybody like you guys as personal as crew rick i know a little too well <laughs> he's yeah. no he's a very super nice guy of yeah. course thanks, but thanks. i feel like you guys are all generally pretty there's no like wild card really yeah, you know, you know, pretty well behaved, well yeah. disciplined. You know, good people. Everybody's nice. Get a know? couple soldiers in us at all. Times. That's <laughs> true. I have seen kind of the drunk versions of everyone. Yeah. I, think, I think it's because everybody in here went through like their own uh, tribulations and smiles like, and tribulations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smile right through everybody, it. Through it baby. Everybody had their own like you know struggles and shit yeah, like humbling so experiences true, how we got here together yeah. You know? yeah and that's why i think the collaboration of the whole show has happened because you know we're all we're all on the same fucking boat as artists yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know like we're you know we all vibe we're all, we're all good nice, kids we're, we're all, good all trying kids. to take yeah. care of each other you know yeah man yeah. i really i really respect all of you guys in the grind because obviously we all are in a similar grind and have done the same things all together yeah. um and it's such an interesting kind of pocket we fit into with like the globalization of Korean music. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Cause we, we, t we do music in English. You know what I mean? Like, right. Like, so, some Korean sometimes, but generally, even, no, I didn't even but generally for the most part it's English, you know? Yeah. But it's like, we fit in this pocket too, where it's not just, just hip hop. It's also yeah. Korean scene and yeah. K-pop scene. So and TikTok. Yo, that's yeah. a whole thing, bro, that I really want to talk about because like, if, if this isn't a version of pioneering that, you know what I'm saying? Because if motherfuckers like still come up to me and be like, "Oh, you do K-pop?" I'm like, "Bro, have you heard the last song?" That's right. You feel me? Like yeah. it's straight. Like I was rapping on that shit in English, so it's like you, you obviously are. So, not pi a fan. are you talking about pioneering a specific thing that we're doing in this in pocket? America? Like, in like, America, like, right, right. I think you there's know? a part of that that you, we, mm. we all are part of for sure. The history. Yeah. I would mm. say straight up pioneering because who else is doing it? If that, if we not, you know? What I'm oh, saying? you getting a little hood right I now? I always say <laughs> you're just hey, turning up point. right now. That's a good point because I always say like there's. There's the Korean race, and I always look at Korean American as a separate race. Right. Look at and like, all we the things, all the hustle, Korea, all the grind that we do here is so much different, bro. But and you could also see it as like maybe they don't want to do it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, they do. They freaking do, man. Actually, no. I was kids. just on the show where they all want to come here. They're like, bro, like, what's it like in LA? Like, oh, yeah. like, is it this? Is it? You like, should lie to them. Say it's tight. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not saying LA. I mean, here's the thing: a lot of artists are willing to. It's a good answer. No, no, a lot of artists are. I'm not saying LA isn't tight. It's a beautiful, like, fun city, and yeah. there's opportunities, right. and you have. A, I do think there's so much freedom here compared to a lot Fact. of other places Fact. in the world, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the darker stuff that people don't really get to see or experience. Yeah, and and sometimes dark stuff isn't necessarily bad. It's either. not heavy. It's not heavy like that. But it's, it's not like it's something not. that's not healthy to you. Yeah, yeah, but it's weird. There's artists who sacrifice. Um, the success of a certain regions to have that freedom, right? I would say you guys mm. are kind of in that boat a little bit, mm -hmm. like where there was there was a constant. You know, you guys can continue to do, work in that system that you guys were in mm. out there, mm -hmm. right. do the shows. It's festival season, get in there. Right. Yeah. But you guys came out here and kind of chose another route. Yeah, mm. yeah. Exactly. going gotta, going oh, yeah, back right. to like what's what are you really passionate about? That's what I realized in Korea because yeah. I was I had a certain dream and I had a certain goal and I was out there. And I was looking around, I looked myself in the mirror, and I was like, whoa, that's not what I wanted to it changed up yeah, over be. The years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if that's what means to become a rapper, like, I want to kind of yeah. go in a different, you know. Yeah, yeah, go pool. back to the drawing right. board. Yeah, yeah, For yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. 
for mm-hmm. sure. And I mean, yo, I think that's why this collective works, you know. For, thanks for letting us all, you know, Voltron here today. <laughs> but there is multiple, not generations, but there's different ages, you know. There's mm-hmm, different mm-hmm. paths of walk here within our group. Right. That's why I'm excited to for the, you know, to hit the road with these guys, man. It's it's a it's a different vibe, you know. I get the youthful energy. I get the the R and B singer energy, like you you don't realize when you become not OG but just kind of like the older guy in the room. You know, it hits yeah. you. It hits you in a in a mm. more subtle way. We're like the best one in the room, man. Nah, That's what I'll but say. You know, just like nah. the, the humility, <laughs> the humility Stop. and all that. It just it, it it goes both ways because you know rap is a competitive sport. It is. Whether we like to admit it or not, we always want to think Definitely. that we're the best. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. being in a in a group with just like brothers like minded like that, but mm. also nice enough to kind of build each other up i think yeah. that's a it's a beautiful do you think, do you think it's less competitive now or more competitive more because mm. there's more competition no 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 i'm not saying like the the actual the state of hip-hop the taller you are the smaller the bladder um <laughs> <laughs> no no i'm just saying the the you know are people more competitive with each other yeah. not the industry itself because you know mm. back in the day it was actually like competitive with people mm. right there's mm. more battles and stuff like yeah that. Mm. do you think there is that more kind of competitive nature now or less i feel like there's less of that yeah yeah but the industry itself is competitive yeah yeah i think there's just a, like a larger quantity of people oh, yeah. and rappers and musicians mm. now because the the bar has been set lower and the, yeah. the wall to like learn is easier because of technology yeah but I, yeah but i think like competitiveness is that like people are more like good vibes and loving and like wow that was great mm. it's like, yeah. like they're very much like that now i feel like oh, even that's amongst true. rappers that's cool. definitely and yo you know the romanticizing of like loving the art and the culture has kind of died down because numbers don't lie you know what i'm saying right. so like everything is now depicted into the number of streams followers all these things yeah. back in the day before that i was just kind of like yeah he's not as big but he's good you know like that yeah. kind of that's kind of gone now a little people bit. People care a little bit more about the individualism more than the culture itself. Mm, right? Okay. It's, I don't know if everybody wants to. I think it's because everyone wants to be so unique that they don't want to fit into a bubble. But sometimes the bubble is the culture. Yeah. Whoa. Do you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Like, wow. You mean like K-pop? He's not I'm dumb sure. all the time. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also, like, there's no, like, because back when we were, you know, growing up, there was beefs in, like, rap. And right. like, people were beefing. There was And that was exciting. That was very exciting. Yeah. But I, I don't, you know, now if, if a couple now. rappers yeah. are doing it now, I'd be like, well, they're beefing? Like, yeah, yeah. What <laughs> the fuck are they beefing about? <laughs> well, and now I, they'll I, die. Oh, yeah, they're dead. They're going to die. That is a good metaphor because I do feel like, the problem is not that it's fine if everyone wants to be positive and lovey dubby, but the problem is they think the beef is something negative. Right. Right. That's yeah. the problem. Right. It's not. It's not. Exactly. The competitive nature it's is a better. different form of love. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Mm, and I sure. think that's the problem mm. that I have with this culture of like, fuck that. We should just love one another. Yeah, no, yeah. that there's there was a time where these these things happen in the community and it was love like yeah. Apollo right people yeah. getting booed off stage right. making supporting um, artists Project and Blow he wanted Project Blow yep. these open mics wanting to get better the comedy store getting booed off stage like this was a part of a thing it yeah, was a part yeah. of a community yeah mm-hmm. And, and I think people are flipping that kind of uh, thing into a toxic thing. That's true. And it's not toxic. That's true. Yeah. I want to see a compliment battle now. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's not as good as a real battle. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I haven't seen it. I'm sure people, fun with dumb, would love to see that. Speaking of. Can you guys even do that, actually? Do you know how to flip? The script. Yeah, can you? Fl- do you think you guys can really flip the script and do a good job with a compliment battle? No, yeah. no. I, really? I think it would be the hardest for me. I used to be a youth <laughs> you so I'll to, do it. <laughs> you literally have to think differently. You have to think positively. I can't yeah. even compliment people without rhyme, like not rhyming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You barely could talk right and now. And I gotta rhyme this shit too. <laughs> Yo, that's a good segment. Name one good thing about each of us. Like, yeah. oh, I can do that. I love you guys, man. Yeah, yeah. do it right now and don't fucking. <laughs> Twitch. And mean it. Do I mean, it. give me a week at least. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, yeah. Speaking of yo, I, I don't know if you guys know. Speaking of aspiring rappers, you know our co-host here, Steffi Bake, aka Multi Syllabics. That's what we call her because she's good at multi-syllable rhymes. Oh. Mm. Dumb is offering a thousand dollars to Steph if she could memorize Black Alicious. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Alphabet aerobics. Alphabet aerobics. So it's the song that. They rap from A to Z. You right, know yeah, what I mean, yeah. we've heard it. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it gets faster, and it's like to give you an example. Like the first few bars, like, 
artificial amateurs aren't it all amazing analytically i assault animate things yeah, and it starts yeah. going to b you know and, and it just goes to c and all the way to z all right. and it gets faster and faster all right. so i told her i'll give a, her a thousand dollars no strings attached it's not like if she doesn't get it she loses any money yeah, yeah. i'll just give you a thousand dollars if you can memorize this the whole in one month what are you doing oh. this week let's in go a month? <laughs> yeah, 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 come on, come on. give me like 10. it has to be on b <laughs> of course come on let's go Okay. Give me a cut. All right. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Coach, you know. Like, it's Women's yeah, International Women's Month. Oh, so you month. wanted to do it pro bono? <laughs> 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 Wait, first of all, that's not bad. Look, he coaches you, right? Get, you give him $250. That's like 25%. Yeah, I like know? that. So you and don't think I could just do it by myself, huh? We well, haven't no. done it yet. You so. guys, can, you guys can do it. I, I can do I, it. With a rap coach, it'd probably be way no. easier. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, like, yeah. Absolutely. A coach in anything. anything. I never even thought about that. A coach, huh? Yeah, come on. I'll give you ten percent. What? She's thinking like a real artist now. Fifteen percent. Okay, first of all, you guys can negotiate on your your own (laughs) time. We don't need all of that. Right, right. Month is too easy. Beth, you try doing it, okay, honey? Hey, Steph, would you? uh, (laughs) Steph, would you ever go on a tour? Like, uh, you know, what are your thoughts of like if you were on a tour with rappers? What do you think would go down? Like, what? What do I imagine would happen when these guys go on tour? Not even these guys. Like, you know, does that sound like an exciting thing for you to hop on someone's tour? Yes, I think it would be really fun as an. Experience. I think I'd be very good at selling merchandise mm. and hyping people up. And I would dance really well, not like well, but <laughs> silly on set. Hell but I yeah. would definitely make you guys look less cool. I can tell you that much. Hey, yo, that- somebody get Steffi <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> yeah, that's what would like, I think would Steph? happen. You should memorize that song and then open for us. Oh, oh my wow. God. Holy crap. Be tight. Dude, do you want people to leave? <laughs> no, they already bought the think- ticket, so it's okay. They're not going to leave. Yeah. I'm going to be like, like anatomically analytically. Like, See, why do you make rappers sound like that? Bro? <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. That's what I'm saying. Earlier, I earlier, I was trying to have her, like, you know, get, get her a start in memorizing the first four bars or something, uh. and she started attaching a dance to each bar. <laughs> she just did. <laughs> yeah. She's like, analytically, I assault anime things. It's like, wow. I mean, that's what we do, you know? Right. You know? right. Yeah, you just remember, do do like, the group. I was Rap telling hands. her, it is easier to memorize hands. things in, <laughs> in rhyme, I think. When things rhyme and with music, it is easier to memorize yeah, them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you guys it's do? It's a technique. Yeah. Like, you, rhyming. You put a song. Is it the beat that helps initially? Yeah, you're on yeah. you're on a rhythm. It's yeah, like it's, it's just like anything it's else. Like muscle memory too, like yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. You remember like teachers used to like try to teach you things. Yeah, with, like, I still remember Alabama, song. Alaska, Arizona. I know the whole states because of that oh, song. Oh damn. Yeah, you but then that's gonna be wild. You I like, still spell out banana with the Gwen Stefani song every single time. Like I don't think you want to learn this. It's just like it became a part of me now. I cannot not do that. You don't want to learn like that. Next thing you grow up, you're into airlines. Like I'm going Alaska. <laughs> Sir, just tell me where the fuck you're going. <laughs> you gotta do it quiet. I, feel like I have to go through all of it. Right, right. Oh right. my god, Justin, do you sing it? Huh? No, I died. I have do no you, version. Hey, of it. have you ever sang in your dreams? Like, never. do you sing in dream, dreams and songs? No, never. Never, huh? Never. My dreams are pretty crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Really? Whoa. What does that I mean? I told you this motherfucker was dark, bro. No, I yeah, feel I can tell dark. there is a Justin something dark. there. <laughs> 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 Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Justin Dark, bro. <laughs> what is he? Yeah, Justin Park? Justin uh, Dark. Justin dude. Dark. Justin now he's a SoundCloud That's a rapper. Dope name. <laughs> <Yeah>. Alter ego. <laughs> Justin, Justin Dark, dark. official. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you guys about this, just since we're joking about like names and stuff. Yeah. Um, because at this point you guys have been rapping for a while and had your mm. names for a long time. You guys yeah. ever consider changing your name? Ooh. I actually, uh, I'm I'm working on a new project that Uh-oh. will not be Juno Flow. Whoa! It'll, it'll be something else because the 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 music is very different. Mm. Is so, it a variation of Juno? Samuel Flo? Park? It might be. I, I, you don't want to. You want to. I, I haven't like confirmed it. Yet. Park, it's not finalized in my head, head. But yeah. but like something new, very new is coming. <gasps> it, is Flow your last name for real? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just. Uh, I just guest lectured for uh, for my friend Chucky because uh, he's he's teaching like this beat making class in Juilliard yeah, yeah. and and it's like a bunch of genius kids that nice. they're like they're musical geniuses yeah and then and I like I just talked to them for a little bit I was like really nervous because they're like way better than me at everything <laughs> <laughs> but but then like it, it was it was really nice because as I talked to them and they were like looking at me all like yeah. you know like all wide eyed yeah. Yeah. yeah and then after I uh, told them about like a song I made 
they asked me, they were like, Mr. Flo. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's pretty sick though. Wow. Yeah. You yeah. Do that. They called me Mr. Flo and I was yeah. like, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Are you changing your name to Juno Nose? Do you know like what? after <laughs> what? That, that, like, like the teaching of the school, oh, I, feel, I feel like I, that's what. Okay, I, okay, all right, that was a reach. All right, all right. That could be like right. a title a of, a, of like an educational an video educational series. Educational thing, Juno knows. Juno yes. knows. It sounds like Ask Jeeves. So I actually, yes! <laughs> I actually did change my name. Actually, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, over the pandemic. Yeah, okay, so so you changed your name last year, right? I did, uh, yeah, it's been over a year now, but yeah, basically, uh, I just decided to do that because, one, because there's there's another JL out there in the music industry. What does he do? I don't know, he's with like, he Tech Nine, he's with Tech Nine's camp. Yeah. So you oh, felt no. threatened <laughs> by the other JL. Yeah. No, it You're gonna let him be, take over <laughs> no, your no. JL name? Well, he has a lot, you know, he has a lot of, he has a big catalog <laughs> or whatever, but also, yeah, like I, I was trying to separate myself as an individual artist from Yox. Yeah, and and you know I just wanted to come out a little stronger with a bigger logo and just yeah. But would you? So if, if you <laughs> now it's all confusing. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. like, do I call you JL? <laughs> yeah. Do I call you JL? So if you saw his catalog and noticed he wasn't doing as well, would you be like, I'm not changing my name? <laughs> <I'm not> changing <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I might have considered it not not changing. Yeah, but it that was a, one of the factors. One of the was one of the factors. Okay. I think he wanted to uh, touch the Asian kind of like roots as well. You know, yeah. Jay yeah. Young. Yeah, Koreans like are hot right now. <laughs> or maybe also. Maybe we just wanted to get away from you for a yeah. second and so separate. And also, you know, when you get older, you know, you want to add the young in your name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Wait, is that your Korean name? That's my Korean name. Oh, Jay Young. Yeah. Jay Young. Young. You wanted to Jay add the young girl. Uh, no, that's not, I don't know what nah, he's talking about. I will say there's not a lot of rappers who ran with the old except like old dirty bastard right everyone right. ran with the little or <laughs> yeah, young yeah. Little young. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why i respect old dirty bastard bro that's a hard <laughs> yeah, ass yeah, name right yeah, there yeah, old yeah, dirty yeah. bastard he had that when he was young who's another old yeah. droog old you're old droog yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah man yeah that's about it, <laughs> that's really it. How, long that's the, uh, um, how long did the parker <laughs> wait what Parker. All right, all right, let's talk about Parker. You're a fan of the Parker. Let's talk about Parker. The Parker era last for you. The Parker era was very short. <laughs> era. Era. Like the two Parker two era was uh, <laughs> was. Uh, oh, right there. It was more of an error than an era. Okay, well, uh, um, <laughs> who needs merch? <laughs> yeah, it I was, have a Parker shirt. It was uh, short lived. Um, I think. It was a tough. It was a tough thing to actually get everybody on board. Yeah. It was harder than I thought. Mm. I didn't realize how many people get attached to a name when they follow somebody. Yeah, yeah. For you know sure, what I mean? Yeah. Um, there mm. were some. <laughs> there's a picture of me with the Parker shirt thrown at the first pitch. So technically, I have never thrown out the first pitch as dumbfounded. Um, <laughs> Yeah. You didn't realize how uh, close to fucker sounded in Korean, you know? The Paco. Paco. <laughs> <laughs> Paco. Actually, I never really considered that. Yeah, <laughs> which is actually kind of hard. Yeah, it's in, hard. In a way, Paco but Paco. Why did you, why did you like take that move? Or like, like why I, did you decide that? I think it was tough because dumbfounded for short is also dumb. And so it doesn't kind of change it into an easier name to mm. say. It's still kind of like hard for people to call you dumb and they feel like bad. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to call you dumb. I've heard that several uh, times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. But it's weird, though. Like, I think it's fine. After a while, everybody gets used to any nickname. You know, we got used to Fabulous, you know? Right, yeah. right. <laughs> like, and he was one of the right. hardest rappers. Fabulous. That's it why was... he would have to spell it out himself. Yeah, and be like, and yeah, yeah. And Fabulous isn't a word that most dudes even use. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we don't you know what use. I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's because he was successful, though, right? I mean, just, if he wasn't. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. make the man makes the name. You know what I mean? Yeah. And even ludicrous. You know mm, what I mean? Uh, yeah. Right. Luda. People don't even say that unless you're like a Luda yeah. sounds 50s. Tight, That's ludicrous. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twister. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But also, I believe there was a movie that came out around that time called Parker. Mm. Oh yeah. All right. I, changed, I didn't go with Parker. All right. Thank you. I changed it back. Right, move on. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we take any calls or what? Should we take any calls? Let's do it. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure there's some fans. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. I actually, I actually I wanted to uh, like get I y'all's opinion on something. Right I'm actually thinking about changing my name. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Well, let's go into that. Hold on. Just, um, we're going to, if you guys want to call in right now is the time. Hit us up. Go on the waiting list if you have any, any uh, questions for any of the guests here today. Okay. 
G2, you're considering changing your name. I was considering to just spelling it out to GTWO. That's not changing your name. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a huge difference though. But like G and a number two, there's so many G2s. Brandy, yeah. Brandy. Yeah, Brandy. yeah, I was just at home like on, on the Spotify artist page just trying to get all these G2s out of my page. Oh yeah, it's hard to I was find on it for you. like an hour. Yeah. Lot. Yeah, dude, there were so you. many. But like, also, doesn't it say G2 spelled out on your ID? Yeah, yeah. So my legal name is GTWO. <laughs> Legal, legally. So yeah. Oh. So I wanted to just kind of like embrace that. Because wait, 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 your real name is <laughs> GTWO. Yeah, TWO. That's crazy. Yeah. Bro, wait, wait. wait can I tell the just... story? Is it because your sis oldest sister? Yeah, G1? my my sister was G one. Yeah. That was the laziest oh. naming of this. That's literally it. <laughs> so his parents were like, okay, that's G one. Yeah. yeah. I didn't Fuck say it, that G2. though. I didn't say that. Well, the whole story is uh, during when my mom was pregnant with me. Yeah. There was this pressure of like her have she has to have have a son and right. stuff that there was that pressure so people would be like what is it and she'd be like oh it's just g2 <laughs> g2 yeah, yeah. yeah. but i so, so like, g2 is yeah. is that also a tr like a korean name g2 no no korean people are very confused by that too <laughs> <laughs> yeah. equally as americans are like wow. what g2 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 but the interesting thing is like i guess two could have been spelled out more asian like tu yeah, yeah. Uh, but they went with the tw yeah. 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 cuz it was two you know what i mean it has to make sense is i like really? the name spelled out yeah. I do like I, it. I like the yeah, nice. Can like you it. change it to G Toots? <laughs> why? 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 Really? What do you it's mean? Just like just on like handwriting and stuff, or just uh, it's just too short. Yeah. You know, that I mean? was how I felt about JL too. That's why that was another mm. reason. That was another Even uh, when you grab like oh, a font, the number two and two the G, like it's not enough letters. to show the the, the character of the font. Yeah. Yeah. So you the design. Uh, so you, you see, I feel the opposite. I think my name's too long. <laughs> Yours, yours is too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Yours is you added little. an extra letter to the word. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's actually long. So you agree yeah, that my name is long. Like your you know. shirt, the, like it, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It, it, it is it pretty long. Room. Pit yeah. pit. Because I also feel like sometimes you know, throughout my whole career, people will put my name like early on opening up for people right yeah and to have an opener with a long name it's like <laughs> like chill bro yeah, yeah you know what i mean chill all right let's uh, get a call we got wreck we got to get a call from yeah wreck. let's get a call from this? wreck baby hey, Rex this is the best possible go, call a call we could receive <laughs> wreck is somebody who's shortening his name too actually Rex Yo, is what's good what's good Rex? What up, Rex? what's good yo yo big fan of all y'all <laughs> You guys artists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, were you Damn, watching the podcast, bro. my brother? <laughs> nah, he know he's at, he's, he's he at knows him. that's the question we hate. <laughs> I know we're just joking. What inspires joking. us? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been watching. Um, nah, I, I do have a question. Sure. You guys sure. are all going on tour, and yeah. usually, maybe, um, for each stop, like, you know, like the the lineup kind of. Like, uh, dictates the hierarchy. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. that's a good question. We honestly I mean, actually a... haven't even decided that yet. We're all going no. on stage same time the yeah, whole time. Yeah. One one time, yeah. There's no. It's thing. a rock paper scissors thing. We might pick it out of a hat at this point. We're I kind of want to go first. Go first. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Set. <laughs> Set. Wow. He said it. Done. No. Done. There is a all thing. Right. Uh, there is a thing about sometimes like. Both things aren't fun because either way you're waiting a long time right. to go yeah. on. There's like a that. restlessness. I hate that. That I hate happens. It. Even when you go on first, you're gonna have to wait afterwards. Yeah, exactly for the last. Uh, the but show. then you get to drink uh, and just have fun though. Yeah. At that I'll point, we're gonna come back on stage together. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I might be drunk. By we then, might do so a little rotation. We might do a little yeah, rotating. Yeah, we'll situation. rotate depending on the city or whatever. Like, yeah. Amen. I know that out of all y'all. Justin's gonna be taking the shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Just right. me and just me and Rick, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Rick, Hell you yeah. Your shirt off too? 
fuck no. Dude. Who is, uh, <laughs> he's already signed the contract. Who he's got Wait, but Gino's been working the fuck out too, yeah, bro. Gino, you know, you know. No, dumb has got to come no, out no, and take his shirt off. I've been eating good. I've been eating good lately. Have yeah, you, you, you know. taken off, take off your shirt? Oh, show? no, I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> you are, bro. He's, he's just getting ready for two weeks from now, bro. That's I, what it is. No, and I will say, I've always been kind of a little bit um, self-conscious about that, too. But I, I've done it on the tour. Yeah, it. you did. You've done you it, did. and then you that was for even... your shirt after, like, immediately defined I always, <laughs> <laughs> I always do the half shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do the half, half shirt off. Oh, I can't yeah. never fully commit. <laughs> Wait, what does that look like? You're tucking it? No, sideways. It's hanging off. Oh, yeah. I thought you did, like, the... Keep no, it looks like I bandaged up one arm. You know what I, mean? <laughs> uh, I can never fully commit to the full shirt off. Right, uh, right. Know? Do you guys get always cold. get that woo when what? you take the shirt off? Like, ooh. Like, is it like, yeah, you get that extra woo? The that's woo. Like, you know, woo! That's, that's, the, that's the perks of being on stage because you could take a sip of water and people no, be like, woo. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could do anything. I took off my shirt one time in Boston. Instead of woo, I got a whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it, was like, it was a little different situation. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the weirdest it? thing people have, have people like thrown? I, I know that's like a stereotype of people throwing things up there. Have you guys ever gotten anything mm. weird up there? Maybe Justin has. No, my fans are solid. They're, they're so polite. No, no, I'm saying like you got any bras panties or, or bras thrown at you? Nothing. Like, not nothing. Even, not even. No, even they're garments, so huh? polite. They're so polite. I feel like they'd really? be scared to even do that. You know? <gasps> oh, you have good fans. They're so you polite. Nice yeah. fans. You know? They usually yeah. throw up a moist towelette. Like wipe yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so nice. That. That'd be so nice. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Justin's been, you got like a lot of fans who, you know, objectify you on stage too, in a, in a very do. respectful <laughs> way. That's why I didn't say anything on the woo comment earlier. We get a woo. It's crazy. You ever take your pants off on stage? Oh, no, yeah, no. what's up? Rick, hey, Rick's still here. Rick's still here. Rick's still, still on the phone. Rick's Rick still doing here, Rick. He's like, I got to get the door. All right, the question is, yeah, from this one podcast uh, episode, if the phone with dumb cast were to choose one person out of this whole group to be, be a co-host, <gasps> wow. Oh my oh, that's easy. God. Yeah, I'm gonna cover my ears. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to replace Rick. You know wow. what I mean? Wow. I, I, I think G2 would probably make the most sense, yeah, but sometimes but... it's not necessarily the next to most talkative guy either. I mean, well, if the switch, you know, when that turns yeah, on, when you it know, turns I could on, be super professional. No you know facts. I mean? Oh, okay. okay. I, mean, well, I would say G2, you well, know what I mean? You wouldn't ever ask these questions. All right, relax. Like, There's no openings. Relax, all right? There's no opening. We're like, like oh, God damn it. God damn it. It's a hypothetical. Oh, Jesus Christ. The yeah. yeah. question wasn't even for you. Yeah, I totally kind of, I just thought, you know. That's funny. I love you, Rick. Love you, Rick. Peace, Rick. We love you. Let's link after. Um. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think. Is there anything else you guys want to get? Is there anything you guys you guys want to plug? March twenty tick. Twenty tick. Twenty tick, yo. March twenty six, seventeen twenty. Yeah, that's wow. confusing. You got it. What's, <laughs> What's before that? Over? Before yeah, that, yeah. on the twenty fourth. My mic's not on. Alex. <laughs> on the twenty fourth, we're dropping two singles: Dale You're Denton, it. Gold Rocky, music You're videos, it. along with that. And then on the 26th, we're going to perform at 1720 yeah, downtown that's LA. Yeah. That's a venue. 1720. So is the music video done? Oh, they're yeah. done. Yeah, they're yeah, done. yeah. They're Everything's done. done. The they're song's ma mixed, mastered. Yep, yep, uh, yep. All ready to go. Everything's wow. good to go. It's so, going to be tight. This is a one-night-only event for this LA thing. So mm -hmm. this is the temperature check. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this really decides if we're going to go on tour and all that. We need, we need well, all the Bella to already pop kind out. <laughs> Steffi, Steffi's <laughs> opening for us. Sale. I'm, all I'm, pop out. No, no, it's still up in the air. It's still up in the air. I'm so excited for you guys. And it's so cool you guys are like talking about it for the first time on the podcast, yeah. on this podcast. Let's this go. is why people need to tune in. For yeah, all Dumb and I, yeah. we've actually put down a rap. Like, we don't really talk about rapping like yeah. that on this pod. No. You know? so no. Now this is Asian American excellent Woo! and it is Woo! beautiful wow. and i did get to see a little bit a taste of that music video and oh my god let's go oh my god oh my let's go. god i was oh like, I was like first i don't know who i like oh, more like go. i was like wow very much is so high. Wow. Nice. We also mentioned that Steffi was a video girl for Juno's music video. <laughs> oh, Wait, what? Yeah. 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 I have Sweat a video. Pants. Wait, was it your People song? People asked me about it. Oh, it yeah, yeah, it was just a I solo. was in the music video as well. Nice. Sweatpants, yeah. which sweat I have pants. on. Oh. I have some sweatpants. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Steffi was, a, was an amazing uh, actress for that. I like but, that you didn't <laughs> call me a video ho. She was an amazing role quite well. She was an excellent video ho. She was quite excellent. 
International sure, sure. Women's <laughs> Week. Yeah. What a lot of people don't know is actually Steffi was in future music videos too. Wait, That's fast? Oh. Yeah. A lot of she was in like five future music videos. No, I don't know about that. Yeah. But there's a lot of, I have, I had so some So you're a professional video hoe? <laughs> That's sick. I made oh. sure there was no hoeing around. Mm -hmm. I had them like change some scripts on, on so there. So you told the director, I, no I, hoeing I, around <laughs> here. Uh, no hoeing yeah. around. I brought sweats and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Future, check my IMDb credits. Oh my no God. hoeing here. No. <laughs> oh, I Jesus had a really shit, good time bro. and I thought it came out really good, that music video. Yeah, it was and really good. It came out that fire. So yeah, the song was really good. What and song is it? It's called Sweatpants. Sweatpants. Yeah. It had yeah. nothing to do with sweatpants. Well, the, the concept of the song was uh, the whole idea of like like a girl that looks the best in cozy, sweatpants. cozy. Yeah, but I wasn't wearing sweatpants. Ah, right? I was, yeah, okay. the, the music video was the total other way because that, that was inspired by the, the Korean gangster film New World. Yeah. yeah. So, so that, that whole video was a reference to that movie. Okay, Basically, I don't wear or inspired, but by. I do wear like a tiny bikini thing, which I've no, I haven't done in a really long time. <laughs> so if you guys want to see some boobies, you can go on to his. <laughs> still don't watch it on you. <laughs> there, there's the plug. Sweatpants. There's the plug. There's the plug. <laughs> Your view count jumps again. Yeah. <laughs> it's about a double overnight. Ten k. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but Steffi, that um, and that that was really surprising because Steffi did tell me that she didn't want to be in any music video or mm. be like a video girl right You're no but like it was like a narrative thing mm -hmm. and i was a respected mm. person on that i wasn't that. like rapping and you just had to like smile and dance around no, i did do that i actually did a little bit of that <laughs> i played I oh, wait, side okay. move alert oh, god wait, wait, wait alex so. why did you pause <laughs> right? why did you pause on that god, damn oh, goodness, bro man. Alex, on, Jesus buddy. Christ. He's good at his job, all right? Nice, <laughs> nice. Good you at just, his job. Actually, hey, Alex, you just got my views up. Thanks. <laughs> I will say Steffi Bake and Side Boob has the same initials, I gotta say. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> With so. the quickness. Yes, oh, wow. This man's of the brain dot, is always bro. working. King of the dot. <laughs> that is kind of whack tr uh, <laughs> gift to have right there. SB, <laughs> so SB. <SB. laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. No, no, no. Yeah, you're really helping us out here. Oh, um, fuck yeah. Okay, anything else you guys want to plug individually? Chilling. Just this, this collaborative thing you guys are working yes. on. Tickets yeah, on sale now. Yeah, yeah, yeah wait yeah. for the compilation album. Uh, we got the singles dropping on the 24th of March. We just got what, one and a half weeks left. So, if, man, go and tune in. Get the songs. You already know who it is. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. We might have some special guests for the show, too. He <laughs> might be taking off his shirt for that six pack, you know? Yeah. 90% yeah. yeah. <laughs> chance it's Ted Park. No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. No, no, no. But let's, let's get. Uh, could we please see Fun with? Dumb listener support at the show. That'd be dope. Yes, yes sir. Please. Let's sell the bitch out. Please, please. Let's sell the shit out. Do it, guys. Thank you, my brother. Oh, Thank you know, you. we sell the meet and greet tickets too, and you know how I get at meet and greets. Mm -hmm. Rick's real good at that. <laughs> so fun Rick will dumb. take you out for dinner. Yeah, yeah. Not, <laughs> That's not even in the package. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somehow I'll lose money. Somehow, <laughs> somehow I'll lose <laughs> money. <laughs> this feels like you need a ride home. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> off of, okay, off of Wilshire, right? Okay, oh. cool. <laughs> Rick takes one for the team when there's no team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we must say. He takes you one. Take one. No team to take it for. I'll take, take it. it. You'll take it. I'll take it. I will say that that's the thing. Rick's fan service is oh, absolutely yeah. ridiculous. That's why it is good to be a Rick fan. Oh, man. Real yeah. shit. Yeah. You know, there's Thank a lot you. of perks with Rick. To <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of perks. No, Rick, Rick was saying yesterday, he's like, dude, there are fans who will fly out <laughs> for, oh, that yeah. for that fan package. You know? Oh, yeah, because he'll fly out for them, bro. <laughs> oh, no, what I meant is I'll buy their ticket. <laughs> You'll carry their luggage and shit. Yeah, so which, from LA. which terminal are you? <laughs> which terminal? Oh Hell yeah. All right, y'all. Let's no wrap doubt. it up. Yo, thank you. We got Justin Park, JL, Rick Lee, aka Lyrics, G2, Ooh. and Juno Flow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tune in next week for another episode of Fun With Dumb. Peace. Woo. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs>